Hey love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, you know, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if there um um if there's different uh videos that i put out that you really um find a good insight or an uplift to please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share it's greatly appreciated um and the video i'm doing right now is twin flame 101 universe is giving you that big push so spread your wings um and fly you know it's, it's just like right now a lot of us are going on that cliffhanger um cliffhanger effect it's like when you're on that cliffhanger effect it's just like you're watching a movie like that mess is like heart stopping it's just like oh my god what's about to happen what's about to happen and you know or even a show you get mad when they always leave you on that cliffhanger just for the back bring back towards you like they want you to be able to come back next week and watch that show you know and so they'll leave it like that until next week or whatever and it's like you're going through that in real life. You know, it's the universe, it feels like it's getting really, really quiet right now with different things that's going on in the world. And you're really trying to understand what God has for you in that plan where it's just trying to tell you, go with your intuitive, go with what, what your heart is telling you. You know, it, is it speaking positive to you? It's telling you no worries. You know, even though you may be facing a lot of different things right now, it's like either is going to teach you, you know, either God's going to catch you or he's going to teach you to fly. And this at that point right now, he's teaching you to fly. You've been, you know, you've been, it, it's just like, uh, the way they're showing me, it's like you, you can be at the cliff and they're telling, you know, like jump, you know, there's like a lot of people, like people, you know, be going on them different cliffs, like, you know, they were like the La push or something like that, you know, uh, ocean or beach or whatever they got going on. Like me, I'll go on the beach and says liquid gray stones, graveyards to me, I'll be playing in that stuff. But if you're doing that, it, it's just like how people it went ahead and, and you've seen people that just adrenaline junkies and they just jump off and they tell you, hey, come on. And you keep running like, oh, no, nah, I ain't ready yet. Like, man, come on, come on, come on. We got you. Come on. All you got to do is just dive out. You right here. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be right here where you ain't going to hit no rocks. So not like that. It's just going to be smooth dive and you're going to hit it. The water's just perfect. It's just right or whatever. But it's at that point. We're in life where we, we've been running in that circle. Like when we feel like we're prepared and we keep running back. And God is like, this is like where he's telling you, have more confidence in yourself. You're seeing how different things, even when you speak to other people. I bring people in your life just to be able to speak on how the things you speak on and not really understanding why you it's like hey, why did I say that to that person it's like they, they're telling you 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 have a hidden talent for even yourself where you see that that person may be doubtful and you'll just speak, speak some kind of you know uh joy and existence to people's lives you know people come to you at times with their issues and you, you know you may not even understand how you're getting yourself out of a paper bag but then there'll be something that you don't realize what's helping you is helping them at the same process it's just like you may not know something and it's just like and i know it's at the tip of my tongue you know we all said that you know is at the tip of my tongue is that the tip of my tongue and um then next thing you know, a person come to you and they ask you something. And the next thing you know, it just comes out fluently like that. And you just try to understand, is this what you've been trying to tell me this whole time? Yeah. But that's the reason why we, had, we, we brought that person in. They were helping you trying to understand what was in your heart that you had to learn for yourself. But you end up telling for somebody else. Because it's just like, well, we, we can know all the antidotes and everything to everybody else's drama, everybody else's life. You know, it's quick for it. It's like, oh, it's so easy. Yeah, it's easier said than done when it's not you that's dealing with that but it's like when you're telling somebody else to do that they're giving you that insight to be able to know if you 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 giving somebody that encouragement but you got to be able to feed that to yourself at the same time and it's like that's powerful it is because there's a lot of times we you know there's people that came to me and it's just like rosin i don't know if i got it this and this and that and i'll see something in them and i said you know what you have so much energy you know, so much beautiful energy out of here that the world is really hungry for. And you just don't know you have exactly that. 
you know and I know that may be weird for them because they were so used to people using them and um trying to manipulate them where they were it was beneficial off of somebody else's dime and not theirs so when you're being that genuine person that's not something they're used to and as soon as I said that my nose started to itch again and it's just like y'all I'm sorry about them getting me downloads at the same time but it, it's just like you're saying that and a lot of times you don't know that you got that courage, you got that ambition, you have that passion to uplift other people. Now it's time to uplift yourself at that same time. Because there's a lot of times we don't realize we carry that that fear of what if. You know, I keep going, I keep going, but what if I don't have what it's... And that'll be that, that'll be, we don't even realize like that that is that slow that showstopper right there for us because we carry that what if so powerfully now it's like what if we can soar what if it happens for us what if we make it big not what if we fail don't it's like don't even push that into existence about that you know don't even push that into existence about that but what if you got what it takes it's like all these situations are showing you everything that worked out in some kind of way for you. Even though it may not have worked out the way you thought it was, it's working out for you. It works out for you. And it's just like with my videos. I love to be able to speak compassionate towards other people. You know, I, I know what it felt like for you know people to dump out crap on me. I, I know how it was like people see me as something that they just wiped off of their shoe. So I know what that felt like. So it's just like with me. I know I have the ability to do that too. But why? Even towards the people that has done that to me. I'm like why? That proves to me I'm no better than them. A lot of times we're placed in situations like that. To show people even though you crapped on me like that. don't mean, I'm going to still rise above that. I'm not going to allow that to get me down. And I'm showing you that. Because I'm showing it's possible just by what you're doing to me. I'm still showing you. You can change your life if you wanted to. And I'm changing my life because you're helping me change my own. And we don't realize that. Because there's a lot of times why we get upset. See, that's how <laughs> my nose, man, got dog. It's like these downloads is coming to me like crazy. And um, there'll be a lot of times where we get very uncomfortable. Because you're surrounded by a lot of negativity a lot of hurt a lot of pain where people don't care people don't love you people love to see you suffer and you're just trying to understand it's like god i'm trying to be that person of peace i'm trying to be that person of love but i'm not getting that in reciprocation why do you make me stay in situations like that and what it is is where they're using you as that example because they feel like it, it is like they feel like they can't come out of that vibration. They feel like, you know, that person they got something I want to kill that because that's not me, or whatever that is. Whatever I, I can't get into a person's head like that because I don't think like that. Because it's like when I'm like that, I'm you know I've been that kind of person before where I was very volatile, I was very mean, but I was it was just more of me being straightforward about it. It was like, you don't like me. No, I don't. And you give me an opportunity to, I will destroy you. And people used to laugh at me because they were like, that's, that, that, that's mean. But that's being honest. They got to respect that. You know, ain't even respect it, but respect it. You know, and I was like that. And that was, that's what made me more dangerous because it's like, I was that type of person. I, I, you know, I used to tell people that that, that it used to be that fake phony. I ain't got that time to be fake phony with. I'm just all either I'm all the way negative or I'm all the way positive. I can't half step. I can't be that one to throw a rock and hide a hand. I don't have that type. I, I know a lot of people like that, but I say I, I can't be that way. If I'm, I'm I'm about that life, I'm gonna tell you I'm about that life. Give me that opportunity, I'll show you. You know. I don't have time for that. I can't stand folks that, you know, they, oh, they do this and they try to make everybody seem like they're victim, but you know you're the whole culprit. You know, I, I don't have time for that because I see how that take too much energy to do because you got to, you know, keep a lie up, keep a character up that you know you ain't even equipped to be in. You know, it's, it's just me being like that. But now it's just like you being that person, you're going to be that example. You being placed in the most hostile situations where you're maintaining peace. Now, that's where the power comes from because you have to maintain peace in a hostile situation. And you're going to create that peace within yourself. You're going to create that strength within yourself when you were dealing with adversity and diversity. Because diversity, I'm putting you right square in the middle of that. 
And it's just like, why are you doing me like that? You see what I'm going through. You see all the things that you already make me face and you adding on towards that. Because that's going to be a part of your purpose. You don't realize that is going to help you. That pain holds a purpose for that. Whatever you facing it is just really, uh, you know, it just really gets under your skin. That's going to be a part of your purpose. Your weakest moment is going to be your greatest strength. Believe that. And I had to understand, I had to really understand that why did I have to be in a situation like that? You already know what you don't put me in the center of and then I got to deal with this too. You're showing people. You can get out of that, but it's a choice. But it's certain things you, I mean, this is, this ain't for the weak at heart and not saying that somebody weak, but it's just the fact is if you can put so much energy on trying to destroy somebody, think of that same energy you are to build somebody up. We are so quick. On trying to destroy people in this world. We so quick on trying to gang up any up on people. How we can block somebody from a blessing. But you think the choice should be granted. And, and, and I say that a lot. Because I deal with a lot of that. I say that power that you putting down. And that, that, obviously that's something I need to be talking about. When you, when you putting down something like that. Because I deal with a lot of people to try to tear me down. And I was just like, you, I, and I can see that power that you got. You know, because I said, if you can put all this in on trying to destroy somebody, you know how good you can be trying to build somebody up, building yourself up. Because when you're building yourself up, you ain't got time to be sitting up here destroying somebody else. You know, and people don't understand that. I don't heard different people, and I laugh at it because it's true. I don't heard different, different companies commentators sit up here talk about that talking about how people don't put so much money on black magic and stuff like that they were like do you know you could have bought you a car with that paid off your education paid off your credit <laughs> all that money you don't put down to destroy somebody else do you know you could have made that useful on something that could, and you could have added 10 times fault towards that now you don't end 10 times toward destruction in your life because you don't add it on towards somebody else's you know all that different stuff but right now that's this showing you this is where this is where your wings is like the, you you out of that cocoon because you feeling it you know you're on the cusp of something you really on that cusp of something it's just like you had to be into that a lot of times you had to feed it in the fear to know this only thing that fear is is fear itself that's where you got to dis disconnect yourself from because you're a very powerful person a lot of times we feed in the fear by hurting other people. We feed in the fear when we hate being wrong. We feed in the fear when we don't like to apologize. When we are knowing we're wrong. But when you can allow yourself to be in the, in the midst of truth, that's, that's what a real power is. Saying, hey, I ain't perfect, you ain't either. You forgive me, I forgive you. You know? You forgiving the unforgivable. And a lot of times that's hard to do. A lot of times it's like how you can forgive somebody who clearly ain't sorry. That that forgiveness ain't for you. I mean for them. It's for you. You need to be that person to be at peace in life. Because they're at war with themselves. That's not your battle. You need to be fighting. That's their battle. They keep bringing that to you. And that's the, you have to be able to drop that sword. Bro that's yours. Here. <laughs> That's yours. You bring it to me. I'm not about to deal with that. I'm not about to do that. You know, you have to be that person. There, There's going to be so many different things towards you. You know you're a powerful person because it is like strength in numbers that they feel that. But you don't realize you got a whole army bark backing you up. A whole army backing you up. Because you got so many different people that see something. One person. You are one person and you see how many different things are around you just trying to knock you down, trying to put you, trying to make you obsolete. You know, all those different things. You know, and this is at that time where the universe is giving you the extra push. It got real quiet. It got real quiet. Your mind is going and it's just like, why is it so quiet? Because even your negative vibrations, that negative talk that you have, this either not shut the heck up because you're disconnecting from ego. Ego is at it. You, you don't sit up here and said the last, you know, it was at its last supper, last supper ago. You know, you giving your closing statement on that where you don't sit up here and pour your last dirt over on the coffin of your ego. It's like, you need me to text you now. 
Cause you just gone <laughs> You know it's like Usually you tell somebody Hey call me when you get home Text me when you get there You know Let me know where you at Give me the you the, uh -huh, Just go You know And that's telling you You got them wings And fly A lot of times this is Our fear is where we, 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 we tend to focus on What we tend to lack You know And we stay focused on that And that universe is like you know, universe knows our worries. Universe knows our struggle. They know the concerns that we got in the world. They see a lot more and they know a lot more than what we know. And they're telling you if you pushing out good, good going to come to you. Even when it look like it's not. A lot of times when we feel like we're by ourselves, you're not. You don't know what kind of energy and entities that are in the world up there. Is whispering in other people's ear. You know darkness whip, whispering a lot of folks ear. But goodness is doing it too. There's a lot of people that's watching out for you. You don't even know. You know a lot of times it's like. Sometimes I be in that, that vibration where I'm negative. And I'm ready to just fight the world. Because everything that I'm going through. And it's like you got to even praise God. Even for the things you don't know could have happened. You don't know. How you could have been walking across the street. Just because you you know the storm came today. And you're like dang I had to go walk to the store to get this. Not understanding there was somebody waiting around the corner waiting for you to come out the house just so they can hit you. And just because the fact that you stood in the house today, then they're going to have to come back and regroup. You don't realize how many things has been set on you and it just didn't come, come into play just because you were protected like that. It's like they got to scratch off and restart back on back to the drawing board, you know, and not understanding. This is a path, you, even the plots against you is a part of your purpose. And that's what they're saying. You know, the plots against you is a part of your purpose. So this is at a time where universe is giving you that extra push. God is giving you that whole push. And it's like, either I'm going to show you how to fly, I'm going to catch you. Either or you are protected. You are wrapped in my love. I know what you're going through because I placed that on your path for you to go through. But I'm, I'm getting you through this. You know, a lot of us is going through a lot right now. A lot of us is going through a lot right now. You're dealing with a lot of uh, of naysayers that's in your life. A lot of people that want to keep you distracted from different things, but not realizing that they're, they're a part of the plan. You know, your story was already written before you were even on that, you know, before you even put your first chapter one, your introductions, your special things. You know, even where is it going to be a paperback? <laughs> you know it was going to be one of those You know it was going to be a picture book it, All this stuff everything was already laid out On what you were going to go through And this is at that time where God is telling you You got that confidence This is at that time you can use it You can preach it to other people But let it sell Let your, your strength sell itself Because it's there You know Change what you stay focused on Change where your belief system is Your patterns that you you know you keep you keep having within yourself those are dead and now it's time for you to pick up new new instruments that one's all played out now they're telling you to pick up new instruments you know these are the different things that's going on in your life a lot of times you know that's why I love when I step back for a minute let people think I fell off that's fine <laughs> let people think I give up that's fine you know, this is that me just being able to take everything in that I went through, being able to understand why certain things has happened, why certain needs are being met, why certain needs aren't being met right now, why certain things is taking place the way it is, and just being very observant on it and just doing what I do. And I have to be okay with that. Because if it's out of my control, it has to be out my hands, out my mind. You know, don't manipulate things. Just because other things are being manipulated around you, you don't have to add towards that source. You keep moving like we're telling you to move. You know, when that fear is about what people are doing, what people are saying, what people's opinions are about you, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. As long as you know who you are, you know what truth you carry, you know what your experience is being told, you know what is being sold. That's all you need to be focused on. You know. A lot of times you it's just like with you being that one person. You got that whole army against you. They're seeing a power with you within you that they know is pushed behind God. So they're trying to destroy that. Because you really don't know. You are that one person 
this going to show impossibilities are possible. That's why you got so many armies behind that trying to make sure that that don't happen. Because they know if that projects like that, they're going to show that God really truly exists. That's why the devil be trying so hard because he knows. If that pushes out, that's going to it's going to make him look like a simp. You know, your power makes God you know, it's make God happy, but it makes the devil nervous. This is at that time where he's telling you to really step out and spread your rings and wings and fly. So I hope you were able to resonate with the uh, content of that. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Sam C. Much love to you, sis. And I hope all is well. And I would love to give uh, uh, much love to Storm. Much love to you as well. And Julia Barron. Much love to you as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. Please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Always leave my contact information in the description box below. A lot of people like doing one-on-ones with me, but they don't feel comfortable enough for dropping a line here. So I always tell people, hey, email me one-on-one -on -one and we can go through that. Or if you're just needing a sense on where you need to go, hey... I don't make the first, first initiation. Go ahead, hit me up. I try my best to be able to help you out the best way I can. You know, it's helping you help me help you help us. Basically what it is. You know, whatever we speak on is confidential. And I help out the best way I can. If you ever think about having a future in podcasting, I also drop my um, podcast here as well on my community channel. Um, and, and just like if you want to invest in that, you know, I really feel like I love being able to do podcasting. It's like podcasting is so easy when it comes to Anchor app. And I love that. So if you ever, you know, interested in that, you know, I, I would love to be able to help out best way I can. You know, it's leaving there as well. And um, if you ever think about um, dropping a donation, it's greatly appreciated as well. The Cash App is there as well. You know, whatever vibrations you're needing to get through on your path of purpose, I'm sending it 20 million times fold, you know, towards that. You know, you keep working regardless on what you're going through, you know, what your surroundings look like, what your bank account looks like, or even what, you know, what's unfolding looks like. You just keep going. Stay persistent and consistent. Stay woke. Don't sleep on yourself. You know, the devil may try to tr convince you to give up today just because, you know, the door is open opportunity is opening tomorrow this is your time this is your season so keep going you are the reason so much love to you uh namaste god bless shalom i say and grand risings and any place in the world that you are at this point right now you know uh make sure even through social distance you're giving out much love light possible you know possibilities in those possibilities of vibrations words and just intentions you never know those things can really take somebody a long way just because you're doing it without even wanting things in return it's going to take you even further so peace and love <laughs>